a whirlwind tour by the way of Costco warehouses around the globe led two of its biggest fans behind the scenes covering everything from packaging facilities to pre-opening parties that they have at Costco. Their book is now out. It's called The Joy of Costco, a treasure hunt from A to Z celebrates all Costco has to offer. In their quest to visit all of Costco's 850 warehouses, authors David and Susan Schwartz joining us to discuss the new book, and we welcome you in to WGN. How are well, you? Thank you. Thank you, so thank you very much for so having glad us. Glad to have thank you. you. I love the fact that not only is she a Costco fan, but you are a F Costco fan. And so it's the two of you together. How did this sort of happen? Well, you know, we, we discovered that we were both fans when we started dating. So yeah. it's a <laughs> three days. It brought you together it brought us even together. more together. so. But, um, you know, we love the quality. We love the, the, pr the prices are very low, no more than 14% above cost. We love the fact that when you walk in, you never know what you're going to find. And, you know, it's just a fabulous experience. Okay. Uh, in 2016, I was finishing a book about an Italian scientist named Enrico Fermi, and we were talking about things that I might be doing next. And at some point, Susan said, you know, we should write a book together about Costco. We love the place. It'll be great travel. We'll find out all about it and be able to tell uh, members all about it as well. This is so interesting. You wrote a 300-page book about Costco, but yet it wasn't, like, endorsed by the no, company. No. They didn't give you any money we for it totally or anything like that. We are totally independent. So it may totally. sound like a commercial, but it's no, not. No, we are it's totally okay. independent. And it's not actually 300 pages. It's 272. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared about it. I don't know who edited this book. <laughs> it took us actually we started in 2016. It took us two years to meet Craig Jelinek, the CEO, CEO. and Jim Sinek, surviving co-founder. It took another three years to convince them we were writing the book whether they liked it or not. Okay. They're very, very modest. Very modest. But once we, once we convinced them that it was happening, they opened up the floodgates and were very generous with their time. Jim Sinek read every last word. And then we had to cut the text in half because it was going to be, it was going to be 600 pages. So he read all of it, and then he read it again. And they let us go in behind the scenes and see all sorts of great stuff. It's, it's just fun. So Enrico fun. Fermi to Costco, that's quite a segue. But uh, <laughs> 2022 Costco is the fifth largest retailer in the world, number one when it comes to prime beef, organic foods, and rotisserie chicken. Costco can influence the economy, gross national economy of certain countries out there. They're very sensitive to that. And you know, they take, take that responsibility very, very seriously. Uh, you know, they don't make these decisions lightly. But, you know, their primary, their primary uh, interest is to see that members are served. You know, they have, they have four, four goals. First of all, to obey the law. Second of all, to look after members' interests. Third, to look after their, their employees' interests. Fourth, to look after their vendors. And if they do all that, they are absolutely convinced that shareholders will benefit. And the stock market has shown yeah. that over the years. Yeah. But when they changed their sourcing of salmon from Chile to Norway, yeah. it influenced both countries' economies. We, it's just we amazing. both read that. That is crazy. They sell yeah. half the world's cashews. We brought some cashews. We brought some snacks with us today. Um, and um, uh, the, we brought the, the green chili cornbread, which is a popular okay. item. It's probably going out of rotation soon. We like to say that the bakery is on fire right now. Not literally, <laughs> but at Costco, they're, they're rotating all the products. Yeah, for sure. okay. And it's, it's a lot of fun. When you go around the world, about 40% of the products are different. Every, the regional, every Costco, everywhere you go. Yeah. So it's all different, it's, which makes it, for Costco fans, makes it a blast. So it's a club membership deal. Uh, there's varying uh, memberships that you could buy into. But the idea is, the, the economy behind this is the volume, so we could offer it at, at a cheaper discounted rate. Actually, it's, it's actually more altruistic than that. Um, as David said, they, they highly curate. It's only 3,800 items per warehouse. Really? Only 3,800, and that can vary. So in some places it's more fish, some places more meat. And then nothing is marked up more than 14% above cost. So to give you a great example, my hearing aids, grandma's got hearing aids, my hearing aids were $1,500. At Costco. Costco, they would have been ten thousand dollars elsewhere. Yeah. Wow! But you're right. Okay. The, the volume, you know, it, it is a business that thrives on volume, it, and and that's what they're looking for. Okay, so for the moms out there that go to Costco sometimes to get their stuff, right? And the dads who and tag the dads along, dads who pay for the bill. Mm. Um, so give us an idea of some of the things that you, if you're going to go shopping at Costco, these are things that you should probably be getting there. Oh, you know, you apparel like is, list, maybe apparel, apparel. the first thing that okay. comes to my mind, apparel is very well priced. I mean, I just bought Agreed. a winter jacket for 30 bucks. I agree. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, a heavy duty winter jacket for 30 bucks. Um, 
apparel is great. F the food is real, fresh food. But like very what, well a, a fish? I mean, what? What? Oh, so wild king salmon for you know, it's just amazing prices. Um, it's just so. But rotisserie things, chicken. Rotisserie chicken for four ninety nine. But things you might not know about are the um, the other services they offer, such as um, I mentioned the hearing aids. But we rent all of our cars through Costco. Huh. Um, we get our drugs, uh, pharma pharmaceutical drugs, um, <laughs> mail order <laughs> from Costco. Um, you can get in, pet, pet drugs. For, don't they do yeah. like travel? Yeah, yeah. Right. travel. Yeah. 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 The issue mm. is like when you go in with a budget of two hundred and fifty dollars or whatever, yeah. and you walk out and you spend five hundred dollars. I mean, it's money well spent because you're going to use this stuff, but you have to be mindful of this. When but you that's walk also in. because, as I said at the beginning. When you walk in, you never know what you're going to find, True. and they're rotating stuff through the warehouse all the time. So there, there's always going to be something that, you know, makes it's you say, "Wow, have item. wow, yeah." It's a treasure hunt, which makes it fun. Yeah. You just nobody walks into a Costco thinking, "I'm going to find dill pickle flavored cashews," mm -hmm. but but when you see them and you taste them, if you're us, you think, "Oh, I need to get two extra bags and give them to friends." <laughs> well, we are fresh out of time. Uh, right. How long did it take you to write this book? Seven years. Okay, good for you. Um, yeah. You can get it on um, Amazon.com and also at Barnes at and Noble. Costco, at, maybe? Well, yeah, yeah. Also I think. in Costco warehouses. <laughs> you just took the words out of my mouth. The book is out now. You can check out thejoyofcostco.com for more info, and we will be right back.